Hey, Yuri back with Big Lud's Barbecue. Dude, Memorial Day weekend. What a great time to do a shrimp boil. We got some people coming over, been waiting for the weekend. Uh, we're gonna knock this thing out. Uh, great thing with shrimp boil, crawdads, whatever. You can throw whatever you want in here. Crayfish, uh, lobster, crab, pence how rich you are, right? Today, we're gonna put corn on the cob. We got good fresh corn from the garden. Potatoes just came out of the dirt the other day from my dad's garden. We'll put in some garlic. Uh, I like a little citrus in mine. I got the three lemons and three oranges cut up that we'll throw in there. We got some mushrooms we'll throw in there. Some, a big nice shrimp. I season the shrimp overnight. I like that, it gives another layer of flavor. We're trying to build a lot of layers. We got a big old pot. Normally we're outside boiling this thing up on even a bigger pot, but it's 112 degrees of mesquite today. Fat melts like butter, dude, I'm staying inside. But anyway, we got these shrimp I did overnight. I put some, uh, I did a cube of butter in those shrimp, uh, about 12 ounces, about a can of Sprite, seven up, and then this uh, Cajun Stinger. I like this stuff, dude. I've been addicted to that lately. So that's what went into the shrimp right here, and that set up overnight. Now we're gonna use, uh, you gotta have some good uh, boil seasoning. We're gonna use about half a bottle of that. That's a 60 ounce bottle. We're gonna use about half of that in here. We're gonna use a little smoked paprika. We're gonna put some more of the Cajun few bay leaves and then all this plus i got on the smoker i've got some kibasa and i love those earl campbells these hot links they're just those little hot uh monkeys man they're they're dynamite so that gives us a lot of layers we got the kibasa we got those we're gonna build this so to start out i want to get some seasoning in there so i got my big pot here like i said i'm on the stove because it's too hot so i'm gonna do about half that in that stove in that pot uh and what I want to do is I want to dump this in there, maybe a little more. I like to taste it too before you get too crazy just to make sure you got what you need. But, but it'll take about a half of That's a pretty good sized pot. Anyway, I'm going to let that seasoning boil for about five minutes before I put potatoes and stuff in it. Just because I want that to break down. I like that to get heat. So uh, paprika, I'm just going to do a couple tablespoons of that in there. Uh, just a couple good shakes, a tablespoon and a half. There's two tablespoons right there. And that, that's a small paprika, which I like. Uh, this Cajun, we're gonna dump some of that in there. That's about a little more. And it depends how hot you want it. You can go less or more, depending how hot you want it. We want that to get into our seasoning. And uh, I, I like the little heat behind that. Uh, I'm gonna throw those garlic in there right now. And give them a little mash. Just, uh, there you go, why not, right? So we're gonna throw that garlic in there. What else, our citrus? We're gonna throw those little oranges in there. Let those start working around. Ooh, steam burns, boys and girls. Don't get burned, it's not worth it. It might be, it's gonna be pretty good. All right, boom, that's all in there. Oh, I forgot my apron, I got new aprons. I'll show you later when we break. Anyway, oh, bay leaves. I'm gonna throw a couple of those in there. Probably like three, I don't know. That's kind of like getting a prize for the kids when they get a leaf in their food. They used to always complain, and I'm like, no, dude, that's lucky, man. If you got a leaf in your food, that's there's like six of those. Uh, sounds like a good round number. Okay, so that, I've got all that in there. Did I miss anything? Oh, my butter. I'm gonna throw a cube of butter in there, just as I can. Now, salted or unsalted, I got salted because I like a little salt. So that's our base. We're getting started. Then we're going to add the rest. We'll be right back. All right. Had that boil in about 10 minutes. Taste it. Dude, it's hot. It's got a good kick, which is what I want. I added a little bit of salt, and I took out a little bit of my citrus. Normally, I'm in a bigger pot. And so I pulled out three or four of those slices of lemons and, and that each. Uh, just come in a smaller pot, and I didn't want that citrus to take over. But I do like a little citrus. Anyway, now we're starting throwing in our stuff. It cooks different. I want my potatoes in longer, obviously, than my corn and stuff that way. So I'm going to start by putting in my potatoes and my mushrooms, and I'm going to run them for 10 minutes, uh, and then I'm going to add my meat. But they, I just pulled these off the smoker. These are those hot Earl Campbell's, just some nice hot links, and then that's just the kibasa. So they've been smoking it for an hour on 230. Once again, layers. I, I love layers. That's going to bring a little smoke to our boil and it's gonna make it awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in all these potatoes and the mushrooms right now. We're gonna run that for 10 minutes. 
All we'll right, so I got my seasoning in there, the potatoes. I put in my mushrooms early also because they soak up so much flavor and it's not all hurt them, they're great. I, I don't like mushy corn, so I don't want to overcook my corn, it's nice and fresh. So that's what I do. It's America, dude, you can do it anytime, any way you like. You like my new aprons? Little American flag, it says Big Lud's Barbecue, it's America, you can do whatever you want. That's what I love about cooking, barbecue, smoking. You can do it however you want. Do this shrimp boil how you want to do it. You be you, but I'll show you how I like it. So now I'm just going to take these, these Earl Camels. I'm just going to cut those about in thirds. Uh, and then we'll throw those in. Hit those. Uh, like I said, there's nothing sacred about it. You can do, some people like little bitty chunks. You can just, you know what I mean? Do it like that. Uh, you can do however you want. I'm going to do them big today. Uh, same thing here. We're, gonna, we're just going to make that... Uh, Make those a little bigger pieces. Like I said, there's a kibasa. And uh, so now, while that's cooking, we're gonna get ready to throw these uh, these in, but I'm gonna wait 10 minutes. So that, when my little timer goes off, I got 10 minutes going, uh, then I'll hit that. So in the meantime, the shrimp we're gonna put in very last, and we'll show you that, because we wanna wait till uh, right before we cool it off, and I'll explain all that later. So, all right, then our corn, same thing. I'm just gonna do about, in thirds with that corn, uh, you can just you can just cut that in thirds like that. And that'll, whoops, a little bigger that one didn't like me, but uh, anyway, just chop that corn. Uh, you can do it bigger, smaller, however. You, oh, about lost that one. You see that cat-like reflexes. I'm the fastest fat guy you've ever seen. All right, so there's our corn. We're done. That's a nice, those big fat dog knives, dude. They get it done. So now we're gonna throw in our our sausage with the and, and when that hits 10 minutes, we're gonna cook that with that for about another five minutes or so. Then we're gonna throw our corn in and then our shrimp. So we'll see in a minute. All right, been 10 minutes. So that gets those potatoes a head start. We're gonna add this. I had a little snack, dude. Those Earl Camels are off the hook, dude. Another Earl Camel is a great running back and a great big dude, but holy cow, they're good little hot links. Anyway, so now we're adding our sausage. We're gonna throw that in. We're gonna go five more minutes and then we're putting in our corn. So adding sausage, see you in five minutes. That's what we smoked on the smoker. Look at that, it's good, dude. See you in a minute. So that's been in five minutes. So that means our potatoes have been in 15, our meat for five. We're gonna put all this corn on the cob in now and, uh, and then we're gonna let it go. That is hot, dude. I know that's weird, boiling water's hot, but it's it's facts. So we're gonna throw in the corn, that's gonna calm it down a little bit. I already dropped that boil. And so we'll put that lid back on. Like I said, it's a little kind of nicer outside, but I don't want to go sit in the heat. All right, so take a shot of this, if you can see down in there. So we've got, our mushrooms are starting to sink a little bit. We just threw that corn in the cob. See that kibasa, we got some potatoes rolling around. Look at that nice sauce there, that's just a beautiful color. Okay, we're gonna let that go five minutes, get that up to a good boil, and then we're gonna add our shrimp and show you how to cool it off. See, my right, corn's been going five minutes. I didn't start my timer until it got back up to boil, and then I started that. Now shrimp, now that's just those big 21, 25 count. Like I said, I marinate them overnight, but, but they're nice shrimp. I'm dumping my marinade in too, because it's just, uh, butter, a little bit of seven up, and uh, some Cajun seasoning. So that whole thing goes in there. Boom. That is nice eats right there, dude. So we're just gonna let that shrimp just get started. We're just gonna let it go for literally like a minute, minute and a half. Uh, that dropped our temperature on our boil quickly. As you can see, it's not boiling. I'm gonna let that go for just a second. And then we're gonna put ice on it to, to cool that off. We wanna drop that temperature about 150, and then we're just gonna let it sit, not on the heat, for about 20 minutes. So be back in 30 seconds, we'll ice it up. All right, so shrimp are in, just been in there literally just like a minute, minute and a half. I'm gonna take that off the heat now, and then a big old pot. I'm gonna put ice in there to drop that temperature. I wouldn't stop them cooking. I don't want everything to get overcooked. So I'm gonna put a Maybe even a little more. That's gonna melt really fast. On those big pots, I do about 10 pounds of ice. On this one, 
I think uh, I think we're about right. Probably three or four pounds. Okay, so that's gonna drop that temperature. Uh, we want it to sit about 150 degrees, just where it's gonna keep it warm. Let all that, what that does, the reason we do that, I mean, you could eat it right now, but that just gives a chance for all that seasoning to get in there. Especially if you're doing crayfish, you wanna let it sit, or crab legs, that shocks it and it really opens those up. Uh, all those crayfish sink to the bottom. So, okay, 20 minutes, we'll see you then, we're gonna eat it. All right, so that's sat for 20 minutes. As you can see, nothing's floating anymore. Everything's sunk. Uh, that's good, that's what we want. Soaks up that moisture, all that flavor, sinks to the bottom. Corn looks good, potatoes look good. Okay, we're gonna strain that and then we're gonna eat it like fat kids. We'll be right back. All right, our shrimp oil is done. We've drained it off. We just got a pan full of goodness. And I got our friends here and uh, we're gonna sample. So we're just gonna dump that stuff in that pan. It's still a little hot. Got a little, a lot hot. Oh, sometimes you just gotta get crazy. There you go. Build the dam. Boom. There we go. Build the dam. Oh, oh, wow. Pick your poison, what do you like? Shrimp and shrimp, baby. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll still mm -hmm. feed you if it says it sucks. Good, bad? Mm. Bad, oh. great. Right. Well, good. Too mm hot? -hmm. So much flavor. That mm -hmm. is wicked good. Oh, yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. That does not suck, does yeah, it? Yeah, that does not mm -hmm. suck at all. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go, man. Oh, crap. Yeah, so shrimp oil. We're going to sit down and eat. You guys do whatever you want. <laughs> Subscribe and hit us up. We'll see you next time.